What up, hype man? It's your boy Squirt tonight. I'm back on the channel today for you guys with some of that Dragon Quest 11. Now, I picked this up uh, a couple weeks ago. Started playing it. Played it for about an hour or so. Then I put it down because my wife wanted to play it. And I, and I was glad that my wife was enjoying it. Uh, but um, today I decided to jump back on it because uh, this is probably this is probably one of the the best Dragon Ball Dragon Ball that gun, the best Dragon Quest games uh, that are out right now. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna run with it. I don't know how long we're gonna play, but we're gonna get some get, get some stuff going. So with that being said, guys, we're about to get into it. Dragon Quest Eleven: Echoes of an Elusive Age. Let's ride. Where am I going? Head to Heliodor. Okay. Am I going the wrong way? Alright. Crap, I meant to hit him. It is what it is. I didn't even rest. I need to go back and rest. I need to figure out how I'm going to fight. I know I need to grind a little bit, but like, like I don't know how I need to do it. Like I don't know how if I like, like if I want to do like one of every monster in the area that I'm at, or like how I want to do it. I'm not 100 sure, but I know I need to grind a little bit. Let me go back up here and actually take a rest. Alright, we're good to go. It'd be great if they disappeared on the map, like when you, like in, like in Dragon Quest Monster 3, when you fought a monster, they would disappear. And then, you know, there'll be something reappear later, but wouldn't be till later, so. Because I want to spend all my time battling stuff, but. Let's see what happens. So, I got. Okay, so. Okay, so if I battle these, will the bunnies in the background go away? Did I ever get that? That pot lid to equip? Okay, no, I did not. Okay, so. Okay, so no, those do not go away, so. I mean, grinding's gonna be easy. Like, when I do wanna grind, but it's just gonna be like. Grinding. I don't think I fought a bunny. I think I just, uh, well. Got a bunny tail. All right, so now we got the frogs over here. Oh, we're pepped up now. Uh, if a character is, a, is attacked a lot or undergoes certain other trials and tribulations, 
the Vince Inter in, uh, innervated state known as being pepped up, which will boost their martial might for a while, but nothing lasts forever. After several turns are passed, they lose their glow and go back to their normal selves. However, any characters who are pepped up when a battle ends will still be will still be so when the next one begins. I'm not casting no spells anyway. Dang, I still didn't gain no levels. I'm probably going to miss a lot because I'm not actually exploring like I should be. We're going to put a top of this here real quick. Oh, I can't get up here. Okay, never mind. Finally reached level five. Every time a party member levels up, they will earn some skill points. As the name suggests, these can be used to acquire new skills and abilities. To use them, up would be character builder from the miscellaneous menu. Let's see what we got here. The character builder is where you can use skill points to teach party members new spells and abilities and also improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, the one surrounding it will become available, expanding your options even further. Think carefully about what you unlock, when, uh, and work your way towards the ultimate abilities. Okay. Ooh, I'm sorry I'm uh, yawning so much, guys. I had a long day. Uh, let's see. Sword Master's way up there. So, that's what we got here. Pip chest. Poof. Okay, what is this? Swords, Flame Slash. Great Sword Guard. Now, do I want the two handed sword? No, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Now, there might be some off-camera grinding. 
more than likely, but we'll get to that whenever we get to it. He's around here before. Uh, you're here to see the king, you say. Well, you won't find him around here. You better be headed to the castle. Go straight up the road, climb the steps, keep going, and Bob's your uncle. Just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. The king needs to sleep, you know. You're the best. You're best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. All right. Uh, Amelia's stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Someone help me. Amelia's stuck on the roof. You have to help. Uh, what's risk of me from the crew? Three of us both top of the bus. Okay. Uh, you're so nice. Please get Amelia down. She's scared of heights, you know. All right. Let's see how we get up on the rooftops. Definitely not how you get up there. I forgot a way. Pretty sure I, I forgot how to get up there, but come all the way to Hilliard door with just one goal in mind to catch a glimpse of two of the greatest heroes of all time. Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrick. The only problem is that they won't let me to the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to get in there and meet them in person, I suppose I have to buy my time by reading up on them instead. You know, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you help me find a book about, uh, about the exploits of two fabulous knights. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. I know there's a book about my two favorite knights just sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. Uh, I've taken a look around the west of the city. So maybe you should head east. Uh, if you see any bookshelves with red books in them, take a closer look. Apparently, they're the ones you're reading. If you manage to find a book about Jasper and Hendrick, make sure you come back and tell me all about it, won't you? All right. Which one's east? Which way is east? I always get that mixed up. East and West. East is to the right. Okay. All right, there's only a certain few places we can go in. This is the church. Probably isn't nowhere in here. Uh, 
And I gotta find a way to get on the roof. Soldier the strategy tell two heroes. Okay, so yeah, it's about them two. Okay. I'm not reading all that. Get recipes out of these too. Tell from looking your eyes as you found the book. Go on, tell me what to see. What's that? Sir Hendrick is a mightier swordsman, but Sir Jasper is a peerless military technician. Uh, I, I'd heard as much. And between the two of them, they made Healy Door on a nigh on unbeatable military force. Well, I, I never fancied that. I'm so glad you shared that with me. Now I feel a lot closer to my heroes. I feel a lot safer knowing they're around to take you. Thank you so much for enlightening me. I may not have met you, but this is the next best thing. Here's a little something to say thank you. Brazilian <laughs> shilling. Alright, so now that we got that done. I really don't remember how to get on the roof.
trying to remember. There it is. Okay. I'm not wasting any more time. State your business. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you.
that will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The Jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? <sighs> yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Tell me, O oh luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. <gasps> A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed! <laughs> Hendrik! Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon! Know this! The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch! 